So we're going to continue looking at the exam paper. This is question 23 of the IGCSE 2019 paper one from edXL. This is a question about arithmetic series. The clue is given right here, it says arithmetic series. There are some useful formulae at the front of the um, exam. So we should get those. Now that's useful, but we also need to remember that UN, the any term in the series, is given by the formula where um, it's a plus n minus 1 times d. So, difference between the two formulae, top one gives you the sum of the series, so we're going to want that one for there, and the one that I had to remember, un, gives me the term in a series. So, un is the term, sn is the sum. So, we can see from the question that the fourth term, u4, u4, uh, sorry, u4 is equal to 17. That means that 17 is equal to a, which we don't know, plus n minus 1. Oh, we know n is 4, so that's 4 minus 1 times d. Simplifying, a plus 3d is 17. We also know that the tenth term, u10, is equal to 35, which gives us 35 is equal to the first term plus 10 minus 1, which is 9, times d. So that gives me a plus 9d. Now, if I take these two and write them next to each other, I can solve them like simultaneous equations. So let's take the this one first, uh, a plus 9d equals 35. And then the other one, we have a plus 3d equals 17, we can do a subtraction and get a take away a, that cancels, 9d take away 3d gives me 60, and 35 take away 17 is 18, so 60 is 18, d must equal 3, 6 times 3 is 18. Next I'm going to take that value of 3 and substitute it back into one of my equations. Let's take the first one. Let's take the one that's written in black. So I can see that from this equation up here, 17 equals a plus 3d, but d is 3. So 17 equals a plus 3 times 3. So a must equal 17 take away 9, which is 8. So the first value in the term is 8. The pattern basically goes 8 add 3 is 11, add 3 is 14, add 3 is 17 to get the fourth term, and then we get 20, and so on. We need to do the first 50 terms. Okay, now that would be something that would be possible to do just by writing out all the numbers and adding them together, but not sensible. Let's go back to the formula. which is the formula given to us in the front of the textbook, uh, front of the exam book, the sum of n terms. Okay, we have all the information we need now. We know what n is. We know that n is going to be 50. n is going to be 50. We know a is 8. And we know that d is 3. So if we take that formula, we can then substitute that into the question for us, and we can do that. So let's have a crack at writing this out. And now we can take the formula that we were given, Sn, and n is 50, because it says for the 50, first 50 terms, S50 will equal, and the formula was n over 2, so 50 over 2 times 2a, but we know that a is 8, plus n minus 1, that's 49, times d. 
we know that D is 3. If we just now calculate that, we get 4075. And that's the solution we're looking for here. Okay, good.